Hey everybody, so this is your girl Tiff coming to you with a really quick DIY video and I just wanted to tell you guys that I made a, it's a, um, I made a uh, Z palette or replica of a Z palette and I was going to order, I'm planning on ordering some La Femme blushes and I wanted to get a Z palette but I just I just couldn't find my I just couldn't bring myself to pay twenty dollars for a palette. Um so I was watching YouTube and this is not an original this is not my original idea. I did get this from a video um YouTube on YouTube. I'll try to remember where I saw it the, the subscribe the person that I got it from and I'll try to post it below so you can watch the original how to video but I'm pretty sure if you just search um DIY uh, Z palette or palette or something like that that it'll pop up because that's what I did but um, I have a few people on Instagram and Keek and everything um, asking me how I did mine and I will I'll, I just wanted to share with you guys uh, for those of you who are ordering Z palettes and don't know that you can make your own without spending that much money like literally a dollar um, just wanted to share the idea with you guys so this is what the palette looks like this is the palette that I made it's the first one so it may not look as neat and clean as the person that I got it from but I think it looks pretty damn good when you consider I actually paid nothing for it because I already had the materials to make this and I'm pretty sure some of you have the materials to make this you have like everybody has these things in their house um, you may have to go buy one other thing so um, what I use to make this palette is an old DVD case for real like this is an old DVD case that I cut out and covered in the dollar store tape that we get it's like what like a dollar or two depending on where you get it from it's like two dollars and this comes in different uh, designs different colors different shades so you can design the palette any way you want to you if you don't have I mean everybody has old DVD cases at the, around their house but if you don't have old DVD cases you can go buy these from the resale shop like just get one of those old ass movies that they like sell for like 50 cents at the resale shop just stock up on them and you can make your own palettes so this is what mine looks like this is the first one it's so easy you guys like I watched the video one time and I tried it like and that was it and I have the plastic here and it's covered on the inside and it snaps closed because it's a DVD case so it snaps closed it's very secure um, I have the open the clear film here so that um, I can see what's actually in the palette and then I she didn't do this in hers but I because I like to label my stuff so I put this piece of paper I taped it on the back so that I can list the names of the blushes that will be in this palette kind of like I did this one like I got this is actually a palette that I depotted and put the La Femme blushes in so I didn't actually make this one I just designed it so I can't take that credit but this is my first La Femme blush palette that I made and this is what it looks like in the front this is the front of it and then this is the back that I've listed all the names of the uh, blushes and then I hot glued the the blushes in here but had I know how to do this I would have done that um, but I think this case is just super cute so I don't want to take my blushes out of here but I when I get my new blushes I'm definitely going to depot I mean going to hot glue them in here so anyway the what you need is a DVD case you'll need a box cutter 
and some tape and that's literally it literally so what I did was you take we open the DVD case the little plastic that the slip cover that the like the title of the movie or whatever it is that paper that sits inside this plastic film take that out and you know that the plastic film is attached on this end and on this end so what you do is you take like a hard piece of cardboard and slide it in between that plastic and the DVD case you take the box cutter and cut the part that the DVD goes in you cut around the outer on just the edges of that okay and that piece is in her video it, it looks really really easy but um, I think I should have probably did mine on the table it probably would have been easier for me but where I was at um, it did I did kind of struggle a little bit cutting that out but I got it out as you can see if you look up close like this is where I cut here and I just popped it out and then I removed that cardboard and my plastic was saved so then I opened it up and laid it flat and I started laying the tape across the back and then I laid it across here and then I went down the sides and around this part and then just to make it look even better I put it on the inside too and closed it and I cleaned it up around the edges with um, more tape or with some scissors just like the tape would so it looked nice and crisp and that's it and it snapped closed and it's completely covered and then I took the piece of paper and I cut it and put it on the back of here and cut some more tape and taped it down so when I get my blushes all I have to do is hot glue them in here with my hot glue gun and write them down on the back and I'll have my little Z palette um, if I wanted to or if you want to you can buy the uh, magnet paper um, and use the magnets but I know that I will not I won't be changing this palette around and we will I won't be removing the film blushes out of here so I'm gonna hot glue mine in here because I'll just if I need another palette I'll just make another one I mean it's literally a dollar and then I'm gonna go buy some more tape in different prints so that I can make more palettes I really really think this is so cool so I wanted to share it with you guys and like I said it's not my original idea I got it from another youtuber but I just had to show you guys what I did and you know just give you guys the idea just in case you know you haven't even thought of it just like I did like I never would have thought to use a DVD case but that is really really cool so now I'm gonna go to the resale store and like buy a bunch of old DVD cases if I don't have any more around my house which I'm sure I do um, and like I said to buy some more tape and when I feel like making a palette I'm just gonna make a palette so I won't be buying any Z palettes sorry so that is what I wanted to talk to you guys about and this is my face of the day I am wearing if you follow me on Keek I did a little 36 second review on this foundation and I'm wearing it today and what I used on my eyes is the little cheap Santee palette I have on this color it's just one color and then I blended it in with my gel eyeliner by Ruby Kisses and my Rimmel mascara and blush I have what do I have on that is a good question I use my La Femme palette so let me see I think this one is golden ruby I have on golden ruby and it looks like this so that's what I have on my cheeks I highlighted with the LA girl concealer in toast and I set it with midnight banana midnight powder in topaz and on my lips I have the NYX butter gloss in tiramisu this is not my original lip I just put this on just for the sake of the video but uh, the real uh, lip that I wore with this look that I wore to church was a MAC lipstick, a cream sheen lipstick called Hot Gossip. So, thank you guys for watching my video and stay tuned for many more videos coming up. I have a few reviews and lots of more fun stuff for us to do. Thanks.